Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well. So it's currently 10 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday the 16th of March and I've already got so much done today already. I've been for a blood test. I just have to tell you guys that because I am really proud of myself. I cancelled this specific blood test four times. I think that might be a new record. I do normally cancel them at least one or two times before getting the balls, but four times this time, four times. Um, and Fran was like, listen, you are going. Like, you are going. Um, otherwise, the doctors will literally put, uh, you'll be banned and you'll never get seen ever again. So I had to go. I've got an MRI scan tomorrow, still in regards to like, that region this is so not what this vlog is about i don't know why i'm starting with this but i've got to have an mri scan i've never heard of having to have an mri scan where they have to give you a cannula but basically they have to give me a cannula because they've got to put dye like colored dye into my body through the cannula cannula which will then travel to the area that they want to look at so then it will like highlight it on the mri scan i don't know it's all a bit confusing i keep putting off saying what i want to say because i don't even know how to even begin this it's like a moment that i've dreamt of talking to you guys about for three years now and it, it still doesn't feel real saying it and i have this thing in my mind that until a certain day happens and a certain thing happens like i don't want to talk to you guys about it because i still keep thinking that something's gonna change or i'm talking in riddles right now um <laughs> because i just don't even want to say it because i've still not got the keys yet to our new house which we finally found and bought and we are moving in in literally like two weeks can you believe it like can you actually believe that this moment has come because i can't i literally can't it has been such a journey such a journey and you guys have been on it really i've never really done dedicated videos to like the house search but in most of my vlogs i'll be like i've got another house viewing today i'm going to see a house and i'm not joking you over the course of the three years of looking for a house we must have viewed hundreds hundreds of houses and put in so many offers pulled out of nearly buying certain houses and i feel like everything happened because of this house the search took as long as it did all the problems happened that happened because of this house and i just can't believe it i just can't believe that we've finally done it like the search has come to an end no more looking on right move no more house viewings for quite a while anyway I just can't believe it and i'm just so excited to bring you guys on this journey because it's going to be insane the house that we've bought it doesn't actually it's not a renovation job it's pretty much all good to go we're pretty we, we could literally move in tomorrow and nothing really needs to be done to it however i personally want to do quite a few things to it to make it perfect for us the interior everything like it is just I can't wait to show you guys. I literally can't wait to show you guys. And something as well that I thought I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a house tour of this house where we've been living for the last few months um, when we leave in a couple of weeks because obviously we won't be here anymore. So I feel like I can do that, which will be nice to show you guys because I know you've all wanted to see this place as well. So yeah, in terms of renovation vlogs, it's not going to be like we're building a house from scratch. We're not going to be like ripping the house out and redoing it. We are just making quite a few tweaks. We're building a brand new gym into the house. We are knocking through bars bathrooms to create like huge en suites and stuff so there are quite a few things going on and i'm just so excited to show you i can't believe it i feel like i could actually cry that we've got to this point like the guys that know know the girls that get it get it like this has been a journey a journey and a half i thank you for coming on it with me and thank you for being a part of it and we have finally got to this point and i can't believe it and it's just gonna get very exciting from now on so we've got like um about two to three weeks um before we will get the keys to the house and then what's happening is we're not moving in straight away because the work that's getting done to the house is going to be too messy for us to move in a lot of it is being done in like the bedrooms and also downstairs and it's just going to be too much and i don't want to like move the cats over move all of our furniture over and like things get damaged or like us not be able to work at the house or sleep at the house because it's too noisy or too messy or too dusty um so we have this rental until the beginning of may yeah i think we're going to be living between the two houses while the main chunk of the work gets done but i'll still be documenting it and i'll probably be at the house every single day anyway and um, i hopefully will stay a couple of nights there as well because i'm desperate just to get in there and just spend my time there and i just i've literally driven to the house every single night for the last three months i just sit outside staring at it um, and just like dreaming of the day that we'll be in. But anyway, I'm gonna be heading to the storage unit now in which all of the furniture from our 
previous apartment went into when we moved into here because this was a furnished property so we didn't need to take our furniture from the last place we won't be using this furniture for the new house we'll be getting all new furniture however when we first move in we won't have anything in there we won't have sofas we won't have chairs it will be like a completely empty property which is kind of mad because um the person who we're buying it off they did it so beautifully with the furniture and to be fair they did give me the option to buy um the furniture off them they were like you know do you want any of it and i did i bought a few tvs i bought a couple of chairs but most of it i am doing completely from scratch and working with an interior designer to completely do it to our taste it's just it's just going to be mad this whole journey is going to be a big one and uh I just, yeah, I can't believe I'm actually telling you guys about it and talking to you guys about it. It just doesn't feel real. Sorry, it keeps being so disjointed. I've just had loads of people knocking on the door. Then Frank keeps ringing me. Um, but yeah, I'm heading to the storage unit now to see what furniture is in there from the last apartment that I want to take over as temporary furniture before our new furniture comes. How many times can I say furniture? Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and meet Ellen in town now. We're going to head to the storage unit. I'll bring you guys with me. I've never been to the storage unit before. This is the start of the moving vlogs and the new house vlogs. I don't know what I'm going to call this series yet because these are like the moving vlogs. So this would be like moving vlog part one. But then when we get in the house, we're not going to be moving. So that would be, that would be like what? House vlog part one i don't know like I, comment down below what i should call these these vlogs this coffee that i got from starbucks is so strong i did ask for it with one shot but that color is not saying one shot so gang we just arrived at the storage unit we're going to be doing storage hunters today i've actually never watched storage hunters have you watched storage hunters yes. is it good yeah are we going it's to be weird. like them today well it's so basically, like, they go to the unit and they, and they bid, buy it. yeah. Things that have been like repossessed and stuff, but they don't know what they're buying. So like, you could get obviously a load of rubbish, but you could also people get like repossessed art and stuff like that oh, sometimes. Oh, amazing! And obviously, you actually don't know what's in the storage unit. Well, really. from my storage unit, they just get a mouldy sofa. I just got a little, um, little treat from McDonald's because I've not had lunch yet. So I got a plain cheeseburger. Yum. I don't like gherkins. I think I've told you guys that before. I have to get the gherkins out of it. One thing I'm really not good at is actually eating quietly. I noticed that on my last, um, when I was eating that chicken Big Mac, which by the way, I still dream about now. Um, I think they brought it back, the chicken Big Mac. Yeah. I do eat quite loudly, which is so disgusting. I need to work on it. Tommy gets so annoyed at me for it. This is giving me horror film vibes. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't watch you come in here by yourself. At, at time. night time. Oh it my God. Crazy. Not for me, that. Right. Well, it's not as aesthetic as I had remembered. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, that's from that's from the house. Yeah, the stuff that needs to go back. Oh gosh. Okay. okay there's lots of right. Oh, see I what I mean? Sofa. Everything's just like piled up. There. Oh my gosh, how are we actually going to do this? Mm. Well, not obviously not today, but like look what made it. The way it's from the oh, balcony. God. Oh my god, our rusty old weights that they need to go. Oh Christ. Oh my dear Jesus! Watch what you're doing! <laughs> you nearly got decapitated. So guys, we've got two storage units, and it's kind of there's not really much to show you because everything is so like stacked on top of each other. And obviously, if you remember, our sofa from our old apartment was literally so huge; it's taking up basically the whole storage unit. So I've just made a little list of furniture I want to take from here to the new house as like temporary furniture, so we can have it whilst we're waiting. Not that I'm going to be there like to sleep there, but you know, in the daytime when I'm vlogging or if I'm there because builders are there, it'll be good to have a sofa in there and some chairs around the island and stuff whilst we're waiting. Um, to be fair, I have missed that sofa. I used mm. to, everyone that came to our apartment used to say how much they adored that sofa. Um, that's actually a bag full of Tommy's clothes that he has not missed and I will not be telling him that it's here because he's gonna be like, I want I them. Quite a few bags of his clothes in here. Really? So guys, I cannot believe that Barney the Bear was in the storage unit. I was actually thinking for months, like I've not seen him in ages, he must just, I don't know where he went in the house move. He was in the storage unit, I feel really bad. So he's definitely gonna come back to the house and the cat's gonna sleep on him. I'm sorry I didn't close off the vlog 
after the storage unit. It was um, actually really fun going to the storage unit. It was nice to remind myself of all the things that were in there and make a little list of things that I want to take to the new place. It's such a beautiful day. The weather has really, really turned and it is literally feels like basically feels like summer and it's putting me in a really, really great mood. Okay, so little update. Um, I'm actually going on Monday, today's Saturday. On Monday, I'm going to see the house. Uh, I think this is gonna be the last time I'll see the house before the day of getting the keys. I'm so lucky that the guy that owns the house has been really, really nice about letting me go to see it quite a bit. And to be honest, I think he thinks I'm a right freak because he's definitely seen my car pulled up outside the house basically every single night. On Monday, I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to show you a little bit of the house, but the current owner will still be in the house on that day and I don't know I still feel like it's kind of his house until we get those keys like I don't really want to like intrude too much like it's not our place just yet in my head anyway and we're going to the house basically to take around another joiner a joiner is someone that's gonna basically do the work and um, the bits and bobs that we're getting done on the house and we're gonna do like a bit of a price comparison between a few joiners to see who can do us the best price because obviously having this kind of work done to a house is super expensive i got some of the plans back yesterday for my office room and i am so excited about that space i'm so excited to have an office and like to have an area in which i can go in and work and get things done and i feel like in this house i never set up that space because I knew it wasn't going to be a long-term thing. I've got to feed the cats because they are literally going crazy in the background, but I just wanted to quickly update you as well. Oh my gosh, something else I need to update you on. I've just started my home account. I've not shared it anywhere yet, so no one knows. Right, what are you doing, babies? What are you doing? Oh, right, so as soon as I film you, you want to be well-behaved. Oh, you want to act all cute now. They want their breakfast. But yeah, guys, I've set up the home account. I don't think a lot of people will have been expecting me to do that. And um, to be honest, I, really, I need to talk to you guys about it because it's been a bit of a, I don't know, it's been a bit of a tricky one. I'll put the at on the screen because when this video goes live, I'm hoping that I will have put the home account live. I am going to put something up on the home account, maybe on the story, just to say that, not like a disclaimer, but I know I'm going to get a lot of opinions about having a home account after what happened with the burglary at... Are you guys okay? With what happened with the burglary at the apartment, I think a lot of people will have been expecting me to literally not show an inch of the new place. But since this house search started, I've dreamt of having a home account. And I feel like to let previous events and a horrible situation like affect what we decide to do in the future and like to just, I don't know, like stop me from doing things that I wanna do. Like why would I do that? I, to be honest, I wrote down a list of like having a home account and the things that I would need to implement if I was gonna do that. And then the things that I wouldn't need to worry about if I didn't have the home account. And I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna start one because the things that I need to change in order to have it, I was gonna do anyway to the house in terms of like security and whatever um, and things that I definitely won't be showing. I'm only gonna be showing little snippets. It's not gonna be anything crazy. I just wanna bring you guys on this journey. Like it's been too much of a journey to not bring you guys along um, and show you snippets and have a home account, which I'm really, really excited about. So yeah, the home account, I'll put the out on the screen, is Molly Mason, which I came up with the name by myself. I was quite proud of that. I like Molly May, Molly Mason, you know. Yeah, that's just the update for today. It's Saturday today, and I'm actually gonna be able to see Tommy today. I'm so excited. And I can't really tell you why. I've not seen him in weeks because he's not even made that announcement yet. So I'm not gonna say anything about that. Um, but I'm seeing him today and I think we're gonna go for like a nice walk or something. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna make myself some breakfast, make the cats breakfast, and then I will chat to you guys on Monday. Hello guys, happy Monday. So Monday has finally arrived. I've been literally looking forward to this day all weekend since I last spoke to you. Uh, that was on Saturday. Let me just attach my vlog and stick because it's super shaky. I'm a little bit annoyed at myself because I've allowed myself to get a little bit stressed this morning. We've had a lot of jobs on, like 101 different jobs um, to get done before the house viewing today at 12. But we are now heading to the house viewing, uh, which I'm so excited about. I'm going to try and show you guys a little bit but as I said to you all obviously the current house owner will be there and it's just a tricky situation because I feel like I don't like I don't like pushing them you know pushing the boundaries and like taking my content already in the house before I've even got the keys yet basically I accidentally 
shut the wardrobe door on bread bread the cat um, which by the way i haven't forgotten i am still going to do a video introducing you guys to the cat soon but when i get the keys and that's when i'll be able to do that when we've moved in that's what i've not been able to tell you guys i kept saying like oh i'll be able to tell you all soon about the cats i'll be able to tell you all soon but because i'm not talking about it until we get into the house uh, which will be soon now and i can tell you guys about that um anyway i accidentally shut the wardrobe door on bread heard loads of like banging and rattling and meowing and i was like oh my god i've literally locked him in the wardrobe open my wardrobe door to discover all of my blazers absolutely destroyed literally blazers brand new of the tags in destroyed like ripped pulls threads buttons hanging off you name it the cat has gone all wild obviously he doesn't like confined spaces i don't blame him i made myself and erin a little protein shake this morning so being healthy queens we're trying to be anyway got a little strawberry one it's actually really nice it's like basically like mcdonald's milkshake that's what i'm telling myself anyway yeah. right pulled up outside the house and the joiner is rocked up in a full three-piece suit i'm not even joking wow very professional can you get inside the house now i'm so excited i'm hoping you guys can see nothing in the background i'm like scared that anything is giving anything away right now um but yeah we're outside and we're gonna head in now so guys greetings from one of our spare bedrooms that's about to become my dressing room so exciting also a little bit heartbreaking because i've formed a really big connection with this um spare bedroom as like a um a guest bedroom but this is the most suitable room to be turned into my dressing room so do you guys want to see i might show you just a little bit i feel so weird showing it to you guys like i'm vlogging in here this is the first time i've switched on my camera in this house which is about to become our home and very weird fran's downstairs just like keeping everyone happy distracting and chatting whilst me and erin are up here trying to vlog and show you guys <laughs> i hope you guys appreciate the commitment Erin's just shutting the blinds just <laughs> just so you guys can't see outside it's gonna make it look quite dark in here um but this is the little walkway through to my new dressing room and as I said it is sad because I have formed a real Erin hi do you the ensuite <laughs> um it's sad because I have formed a real connection with this um this as like a spare bedroom like I wanted to keep this as um, our guest bedroom because it's so beautiful I love the way he's done it um with like the light green walls that picture obviously needs to go up on the wall but um that'll be going when all the furniture goes but yeah soon this is going to be a completely empty room so in two weeks there'll be nothing in here we do actually luckily get to keep the light fixtures which is great because I absolutely love those um they won't be staying in this room though so I'm thinking about moving them to another one of the guest bedrooms but oh my god guys this feels so flipping weird showing you this room like what the heck is there <laughs> to be fair I'm not going to show you guys in there because that's um actually getting changed quite dramatically that's not going to be a bathroom like that anymore but I will discuss more of that the work stuff with you and all that good stuff um when we actually move in which is going to be literally so soon I can't believe I can't believe I'm vlogging in here I love the little corridor walkway I can't wait to show you more of the house but um yeah for now just this bedroom because it's going to be a bedroom well wait basically I'm going to be spending all of my time in here I don't know if it, this is going to be my filming room as well um as my dressing room I think probably just my dressing room and then I'm going to have one of the spare bedrooms on the top floor as um my filming room which i'll keep all my camera equipment in and stuff i'll just quickly show you this bathroom anyway um it is getting completely knocked out but before it does here it is beautiful like, sort of gold marbly bathroom um but yeah this isn't going to be staying because i feel like well as i said I'll, I'll explain to you guys when um when we actually move in but this is all getting ripped out so Say hello and goodbye for now. One thing I'm thinking about doing is actually replicating this um, this style of bedroom in another one of our spare bedrooms. So um, I've never thought of doing a bedroom like this light and um, this sort of pastel-y green colour, but there's something so calming and beautiful about this room. I can't explain it. That's why for a while I didn't want to turn this into my dressing room because I was like, I just love this as a spare room so much, but I'm going to copy the panelling and the pale green colour in another one of the spare bedrooms just to sort of emulate this and basically make a room very similar to this. Um, so yeah, that is this room. I don't know why I keep showing you it. Um, feel so weird to be showing you guys part of this house but yeah so spare bedroom guest bedroom about to be turned into my dressing room and there's going to be a real real journey within this room i'm so excited to show you guys this little like pod that i'm sat in now is making weird noises so i'm going to keep this <laughs> short and sweet but i want to put this vlog up tonight and um, because i'm going to be 
announcing my home account tonight and putting that live on my Instagram and stuff and I want you guys to be able to see a little bit of the journey and a little bit of the BTS and actually me sort of announcing to you guys and filling you in on what's going on with the house and stuff so I want this to go live tonight so I'm going to bring this vlog to a close I know it's not been a majorly long one but don't you worry the long house vlogs are coming it's gonna be one hell of a journey and I'm so excited to bring you guys along like I've literally just been just editing that video there I'm just so excited to bring you guys on this journey it's gonna be I don't know just so amazing to bring you guys along because I know it's been such a a long period of time looking for this house and I just feel so happy and yeah me and Tommy are just over the moon so um yeah if you made it to the end of this video then i love you millions hopefully you will join me in my next one there's going to be loads of vlogs coming to my channel i've got my endometriosis video coming in the next few days as well um for the girls that want to see that because i know i've been getting lots of requests for that um but yeah guys as i said if you made it to the end of this video i know it's not been a majorly long one but um loads more vlogs to come in regards to the house thank you for being on this journey with me and hopefully i will see you all in my next video bye guys